Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, such a day, such a pleasure. All I can say is sit back, relax, and say I deserve the very best. Guy DeSalvo was a leading Pittsburgh chef who owned restaurants in that city and in Jeanette. In the late 80s, he acquired the bankrupt and abandoned Latrobe train station restaurant. And with his 24-year-old son, Joey, a Culinary Institute grad, began revitalizing the landmark site. Because after I graduated college in 1987, uh, I spent several years looking in the Western Pennsylvania area to find a great location that would be able to facilitate a restaurant and banquet facility. Yep. But at the time, being ultra conservative the way I was raised, we couldn't find a shoe that fit. And by accident one day, we get a phone call, there was a, an opportunity in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, and here we are. Here you are. Now your father comes out of a very unique tradition in Pittsburgh. He was, he was the first out here, was he not, from a gourmet restaurant. Exactly, exactly. Being that uh, uh, when he came to America, he uh, multitasked. He was a tailor by day and a chef by night. He took a job working at Kaufman's by day as a tailor. Then he worked at some of the best Italian restaurants in Pittsburgh with the Blandy family at the Park Shenley, the Lamont. He was the opening chefs at these with other wonderful great colleagues of his. And that's what started his culinary career in Pittsburgh, but with the dream to have his own facility in 1969 in Oakland. So he's the first gourmet chef to set up shop in Westmoreland County. He was, and then for, in 1974, my father and uncle mother didn't want to pay rent in Oakland anymore, and they found a restaurant in Jeanette, Pennsylvania. So they definitely went east, and uh, by doing that, they were the first gourmet Italian restaurant in Westmoreland County and having a great following from Pittsburgh right off the turnpike coming to Jeanette, Pennsylvania. So you walk into this place and you see it. What were your thoughts? What, you see the main room, what are you thinking? It was a dream come true. I saw it actually, uh, we purchased it all in one day and that's a long story for another day. But it was uh, like going to Disney World at nighttime. We knew that this place had grandeur, 1903. It was renovated in 1984 to 86, but we knew there was something special and mystical here. And then we purchased it in bankruptcy court and we brought this beautiful, which I call my wife, back to life. Looking around this room, for example, what are the, some of the key features, some of the key pictures that are most significant to you? Well, I have to tell you, this is our main dining room. This is the original part of the train station where back in the day, what once was where people would sit, buy their ticket and sit in here waiting for the train to arrive. Yep. So as you can see by the massive cathedral ceilings and a lot of the beautiful uh, photos, a little bit of train and a little bit of all our culinary uh, awards and recognitions um, from the Pennsylvania Restaurant Association and Lodging that I had the pleasure of being the president in uh, 2008 and 2009, uh, helping to support all the mom and pops to the large corporate restaurants. Dorona, Distinguished Restaurants of North America, a great award that we received that then later years, uh, we, I've had the pleasure of being the chairman of the board, which are the top 800 restaurants in uh, North America. The big, uh, the big main room, that is called the atrium. It's a large room where we really showcase a lot of our big events, our weddings. I mean, brides and grooms come from all over the country to celebrate their special day at the Salvo Station like no other, because you'll never find a building like this of its kind that's so full of grandeur, but that intimacy of our warmth and our hospitality and the great cuisine we brought, and that's what makes that room special. And you can do a lot of decorating in there. You've got Absolutely. a lot of space to, space to work with. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Good, good. Um, in putting this all together, the design we see, did this, is this you, just you and your family? It is, it is. And not only when we acquired this beautiful mystical place, we conceptualized it. We really put our heads down and we said, hey, the place is big. Let's make different concepts within the train station of 16,000 square foot. Yeah. So then we created, we have a dining car, a restaurant within the restaurant called Prima Classe. A lot of our customers, I wanted to give them what they wanted. And a lot of them said, Joey, after a great gourmet meal, we like to have a cognac and really enjoy a fine cigar. So we started there. And one thing led to another. We created 
what you hear and see today, Joey D. Solidafumo, which is one of a kind and the first of its kind in Western Pennsylvania. Yeah, and it's a huge hit. It has been, it has been. It's a big place, isn't it like the biggest uh, total in the area? It is, 16,000 square foot, and just recently we decided to keep growing our specialty events and our weddings and our large events, uh, corporate and social, and we just expanded to a, a large 40 by 70 grand big tent, as we call it, out on our, uh, adjacent to our building. So now we're one of the largest facilities of indoor and outdoor dining of its kind. You're in the wine business too. I am, I am. I knew nothing about the wine importing business back in 2009 and 2010, which now we're gonna be celebrating 11 years with our other company called Good Life Wine and Spirits Importers. Italy has 20 regions. So I picked the best of the best within the region and across all the wine growing countries in the world. You wanna be in this chair, you're, uh, you're really good on camera, you know. You really think so? Hi, I'm Joey DeSalvo, and I want to invite you to a special event, Taste the Good Life, for the best of food, the best of wine, the best of cigars, and most of all, a camaraderie like no other. This is one of a kind, what we call our Super Bowl biannually. I mean, the best of food, the best libations. We have some of the finest suppliers in, of the wines of the world. The Joey DeSalvo personality, of course, is a huge part of your success. And thank you for that. That's part of my upbringing, uh, the humble upbringings, uh, especially being raised by my grandmother, uh, who was so, uh, uh, my first mom. And I tease my mother that my grandma was really my first mom because she taught me how to speak Italian, which then blessings very similar to Spanish. So I speak three languages, but she taught me how to be humble. She taught me intuition, but she taught me how to treat people, making people feel special. Treat people like you want to be treated. How about doing something impromptu here with, you know, to, to the lens? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, such a day, such a pleasure to be with my dear friend, Mr. Hank Bachman, my great producer, Gus. All I can say is sit back, relax, and say, I deserve the very best. When you come through that beautiful 150 foot tunnel, like you're in the city of Pittsburgh going through the Fort Pitt tunnel, the city then opens up to you. That's at the end of the tunnel. The atrium opens up to you. You'll never find a building like this of its kind that's so full of grandeur, but that intimacy of our warmth and our hospitality and the great cuisine we brought. And that's what makes that room special. We have a dining car, a restaurant within the restaurant called Prima Classe, reservation only, verbal menu, dress code, just like back in the day. This is what Prima Classe was all about. And one thing led to another, we created Joey D. Salada Fumo, which is one of a kind and the first of its kind in Western Pennsylvania of a cigar bar and retail store. So you can buy great uh, cigars from all the manufacturers that exist around the world here. Plus enjoy after meal, or even if you just wanna come and have a couple um, bourbons with your great cigar and enjoy a relaxed little appetizer. We have something for everyone down in Joey D's. Yeah. Gus, am I number one so far? Absolutely. All right. I don't want Jerry, I don't want Jerry from Rizzo's not trying me. <laughs>